All right, what it do, YouTube family? It's your girl, I go by Neek, and I'm back with another video. And today, I am going to talk to you about the Music Licensing Collective. Now, when I dropped the video yesterday, I had an artist comment on the video and actually mention to me the Music Licensing Collective. And I am so happy that artist mentioned to me the Music Licensing Collective because I don't actually talk about the Music Licensing Collective enough. And reason being, when I dropped my book, when I originally dropped my book, the Music Licen Con Licensing Collective was not available to artists publicly. Now, since the book has been released, the Music Licensing Collective is now available. And as you can see, of course, I am already a member. I go by Music Publishing, that's my publishing company, and I have my works registered on here. So I'm going to give you guys some information about the Music Licensing Collective. First off, before I get this video started, please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload content because I am on a roll, alright? I'm on a roll right now and I got another video dropping today so make sure you guys subscribe. Like this video, drop a comment below and I may make a video answering your questions. Alright, so back to the Music Licensing Collective. The Music Licensing Collective is actually similar to Harry Fox Agency. So a lot of my students, a lot of my clients, we talk about the Harry Fox Agency, but we necessarily don't dive into the Music Licensing Collective. So let's dive in to it and uh, let's start with what it is. All right, so the Music Licensing, Licensing Collective distributes digital audio mechanical royalties to eligible self-administered songwriters, composers, lyricists, music publishers, administrators, and more, all right? So this is the difference between Music Licensing Collective and Harry Fox Agency, okay? And before I tell you guys the difference, I want you to remember uh, when you are trying to sign up for the Harry Fox Agency, it's a hundred dollar fee. So, and the Music Licensing Collective is free. Never let what something costs stop you from picking the right options and understanding that both options is necessary. So, I actually <clears throat> gave the artist some information um, and I told them to read the terms of the agreement and pick what, what option is best for them. But truth is both options and reason being is because Harry Fox agency is more towards the traditional standards of music. So it says the Harry Fox agency is a provider of rights management and collector of distributor, uh, collector and distributor of mechanical license fees on behalf of music publishers in the United States. All right, Harry Fox has over 48,000 music publishing clients and issues the largest number of licenses for physical and digital formats of music, okay? So this is the difference between MLC, which is the Music Licensing Collective, and Harry Fox Agency. Harry Fox does digital formats and physical formats. Currently, Music Licensing Collective is for digital audio. All right. So the reason being is Harry Fox is more towards the standard edition of how the music industry was. At first, there was no digital sound. It was only physical. So if you are an artist who is still delving into the physical world of music, CDs and different MP3s and things like that, Harry Fox is definitely instrumental in that process. And I'm also going to drop a video showing you guys how to get royalties when you duplicate your CDs because that's a that's a standard operating procedure in the music industry and that we still casually use today. So if you are making CDs with your music, I definitely want you guys to watch that video. So again, back to Harry Fox, back to music, back to the Music Licensing Collective. Harry Fox's digital formats and physical Music Licensing Collective is only digital. <clears throat> So this is why I say it is important for you guys to register on both. Harry Fox Agency, again, it's a $100 fee. 
but the fee is worth it because let's say you want to sample someone's song. Being a part of the Harry Fox agency gives you that pipeline to be able to connect with that publisher to be able to clear that sample and do what it is that you need to do with the song. The Music Licensing Collective is fairly new, so they so so you have to kind of get into this portal like i said it's free and register your music and see where it takes you so as you can see i have 30 songs currently registered on music licensing collective and i actually need to go in and um register more songs uh but i have 30 songs registered on here currently uh i own the works on my songs this is my music licensing collective code so yeah you guys just do your research you know and this is your research if you're watching this video you have done your research and if you want my expert opinion signing up for Harry Fox agency and music licensing collective is absolutely necessary and again it is a hundred dollar fee I think they may have raised the price it says it costs around 125 to 150 when I signed up it was a hundred dollars I didn't pay for my Harry Fox licensing account of course but I know it is a hundred dollar fee to affiliate yourself with the Harry Fox agency. So again, Harry Fox collects physical digital formats of music, music licensing collective only digital. So do your research, know your options and get the right information. Pick up a copy of my book. If you have not picked up a copy of my book, because I'm teaching you guys exactly how to register your music from start to finish. All right. Now, if you are still having issues after you've registered your music from start to finish i do have another service it's called the music business audit in that audit i will go through your music business to figure out what it is that you're doing that you need to be doing what it is that you're not doing xyz put you on the right path give you the tools resources that you need to do what it is that needs to be done to get your music on the next level so you already know what it is it's your girl i go by neek I'm trying to help you get paid, not played, all right?